Welcome to the Barbecue Pitboys.com. Today we're cooking up some roast beef stuffed meatloaf on the grill, and it's real easy to do. All right, for this recipe, you're going to need some ground beef. Here we've got some bacon, and here we've got some deli roast beef. Choose a good deli beef, all right? Now, we've got some cornbread stuffing mix there. We have some eggs. You're going to need some garlic for this recipe and an onion. You're going to need some Worcestershire sauce, all right? Oh, yeah. And you're going to need some salt and pepper. You're going to need a small can of tomato paste. Here's some dry mustard. And you're going to need some milk. All right, let's put this together. Now, into this four pounds of ground chuck, I've got one finely chopped onion going in there and about three or four cloves of uh, minced garlic. And here I'm putting in four cups of bread crumb, or this is actually uh, a, a cornbread stuffing mix, and uh, you can use what you want, all right? Uh, I kind of like the uh, cornbread stuffing mix in my meatloaf. You gotta definitely check it out. Now here, I'm taking four eggs, all right? These are medium-sized eggs. I'm gonna whip them up a little bit, and we're gonna add them to this bowl. Now this here is a real traditional meatloaf recipe. It's been around for a hundred years. Yeah, definitely gotta check this out. Now to this recipe, we're also gonna add three teaspoons of dry mustard. Oh yeah. And here, we got that Worcestershire sauce, and you're gonna need about four tablespoons. Got to have Worcestershire sauce and meatloaf. And here I'm adding a little bit of pepper, fresh ground black pepper, about a teaspoon, a little bit more maybe. You're going to add about the same amount of salt. Remember that Worcestershire sauce got plenty of that salty flavor in it. Now there's only one way to mix this. No matter what the food police uh, tell you, you use your hands, all right? It's the best way to do a meatloaf so you can mix it real good. Now we're gonna add some moisture to this. We're putting in uh, about a cup of milk more or less. I want to show you what consistency you want for this meatloaf. Be just like that. Oh yeah. See that? Holds together real good. Now let's uh, put the meatloaf together. Kind of simple. Here I've got a traditional meatloaf pan, and what you want to do is butter it up. All right, rub that butter good on all sides of this pan. It adds that layer of flavor to that meatloaf. Now let's uh, form a meatloaf here. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your meat mix and uh, fill it up in that loaf pan about halfway. That's because we're gonna be stuffing it. Here's that deli roast beef. I've got some thick slices here. And I'm gonna throw a few pieces here, right in the middle. Oh yeah, you can throw as much as you want. And then I'm gonna cap it off with some more of this meat mix. Oh. Now let me warn you. Might want to make a few of these loaf pans when you do yours up on the grill, because you want plenty of leftovers too to serve during the week. There's probably no better sandwich than a meatloaf sandwich, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah. All right, packed it down pretty good. Now you want to take a couple slices of thick cut bacon, just lay it right on the top. Another layer of flavor. Just like why we're adding this uh, tomato paste here. Make it look real pretty. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. 
Now let me show you another method on this. We're going to use one of these muffin pans. Right? You've seen these before, the big muffin pans. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to butter it up real good. This method here is great for tailgating. I'm going to be serving up to all the kids in the family. <laughs> Now we're going to take this meat mix and just fill up each one of these muffin uh, holes here about half, just like we did the uh, meatloaf pan. I think you know where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> Back it down good. Now, of course, I could uh, shorten this video clip here, and uh, but like I've said before, I kind of like doing this. <laughs> So just hang in there, or use that fast forward button in front of you. Now I'm gonna take some more of this uh, deli roast beef. I'm gonna put a little piece in the middle. Oh yeah. Are you getting hungry or what? And then we're going to top each muffin hole here with uh, some more of that ground beef mix. Oh, man. And you just bring it up to about the top. Now, you'll be able to find the details on this recipe by going to our website. about that already right now we're gonna top off each of roast beef meat muffin here with a little bit of bacon Lord have mercy <laughs> oh yeah This is tailgating food right here. Mm. Look at that. Now we've got our grill set up for indirect grilling, right? We got the charcoal on one side. And we're gonna place these meatloaf pans here opposite. Just like that. It's gonna be cooking about 350 degrees and it's gonna take about an hour. Now we're about uh, halfway through this and uh, you're going to want to drain some of the fat, all right? You don't want these uh, meatloafs here cooking into the fat too long, right? So we just go ahead and drain some of it off. It's easy to do. And I can taste that meatloaf sandwich coming up. Or how about some mashed potatoes, green beans? Or maybe a bowl of barbecue beans on the side. Yeah. All right. Probably about another 45 minutes to go. We want to cook it to the internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, the meatloaf muffins there will cook faster, right? So uh, we're going to be pulling them off now. Take a look at that. I'm just going to add it to a plate of beans and potatoes. Oh yeah. And I happen to have a little bit of gravy here. And you uh, set it up the way you want. This 
some of us, all we need is the meatloaf. Now about another 15 minutes has gone by, we've already checked the internal temperature of that meat loaf, like I said, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It's time to pull it out and rest for a few minutes. Look at that. I told you it's real easy to do. Before cutting, like I said, we're going to let it rest. And through the miracle of time, it's time to cut this up. Oh. Look at that roast beef in there. Man, it's nice and moist. In fact, watch this. That, my friends, is what you call a roast beef stuffed meatloaf. Pitbull style. Look at that. In fact, uh, it's time to make a meatloaf sandwich. Now, if you've never had a meatloaf sandwich before, you're definitely missing something out of your life. Set it up the way you want. Here we've got some cheese. It's going on rye bread. In fact, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but this here is Pitmaster Privilege. Yeah. So the next time you're looking for a meatloaf recipe for your barbecue, you check out barbecuepitboys.com.